Yes, good afternoon and welcome to Gaza Media. My name is Enes. Uh, before we get into discussion, as we have previously reported, that we'll be having a weekly or a monthly health talk show, uh, which is uh, sponsored by Lokudu USA. So this is a USA program uh, that they have, uh, we are working in collaboration, but uh, this program is purely run by Lokudu USA. Uh, before we go, before we start the discussion, we have the privilege uh, that uh, the CEO or the president of the Kudu USA, uh, Terence Atem, is here, and you may want to uh, introduce uh, the project. Uh, Mr. Atem, you are welcome to Casa Media. Thank you, Mr. Enes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kumba, for having us. Thank yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, as the CEO, I would like you to explain to the bank people and to our widest audience uh, the, how you conceive this idea of the bank head talk show. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the idea of the health um, uh, talks, the monthly health talks, as uh, it's been termed uh, by the Health and Wellness Committee uh, put in place by the Kudu USA, uh, was conceived, came out of the committee uh, from the good professionals that we have in the committee, some of them top-notch doctors, nurses, and other professionals. And their, their idea was really based on the fact that our community has issues, we have problems, our own challenges, and these are professionals and they felt that they really, really want to give back to the community. So um, they have identified some challenges that we have, medical uh, challenges, some diseases that are very prevalent uh, within our community. And they really, really want to help uh, some of our our brothers and sisters, our parents, uh, be able to manage these diseases, these conditions better. Um, so, and, and we also, when we took over as, 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 an, as, as an executive, one of our prime objective was really uh, to not just focus, in addition to focusing in our, uh, 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 on our people in Cameroon, in Fontaine, that we also focus in the United States because our members who are contributing this development use, we too also have our own issues here that we need to address. So I think the committee thought it wise that one of their uh, objective would really be to identify some of these community challenges, medical challenges, and try to address them so that our people can benefit uh, from their own professionals and their own sons and daughters that they have sent uh, educated, well, uh, 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 thought out, and we think this is really going to help our people here in the United States. Okay, yes, uh, people have reached out to me and said Gaza Media is doing this collaboration. What kind of collaboration? What are the terms of the collaboration? Uh, yeah, basically, I don't know it's all well, Gaza Media is offering these services for free. Do you want to throw in more, more light in that regard? Right. And again, uh, you know, I, I, we are really, really very thankful and grateful to Gaza Media um, because when this idea, this initiative uh, came out of the committee um, and they reached out to Gaza Media and Gaza Media, first of all, has been, you know, you guys have really, really been doing great work within the community. Uh, we will encourage other people uh, to just reach out to you, you know, get you guys to to assist with sensitization and awareness creation and once you know we reach out to you you guys were ready to accept this and you're doing this pro bono um this is a, a free service you're offering so the kudu usa um uh, through the health and wellness committee um is doing this in collaboration with gaza media and our professionals are offering they are doing this for free pro bono Gaza Media is also offering this service of free. Time is money, as we know. Resources, you know, not just time, but all the technical resources that Gaza Media is putting in place cost money. But you guys choose to do this for free as part of your own giving back to your community. So we were highly, highly appreciative of that. Yes, okay, thank you, uh, Mr. CEO. Yeah, before, yeah, I know Amy Jo is here, she's anxiously waiting where we we'll have to start uh, the discussion proper. But before we get into that, uh, before I let you go, do you have any one more last word 
that you want to say to uh, the wider uh, the wider audience of Lukudu USA and also to the bank people listening to you uh, back home? Yes, um, yes. I, I thank you for giving me that opportunity to talk about um, our people back home. Um, as uh, those of you know, our members in the United States will know, and I think those who also followed our convention, uh, which again you guys did great with publicizing that on Facebook Live and also the videos that you've sent out. But from that convention, we uh, staked out a plan. And our action plan is uh, uh, we have two uh, additional projects that are going to help our people in Cameroon, specifically IDPs in the Western province. So one of the, 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 the projects that the Health Committee, the Health and Wellness Committee is going to be rolling out, is going to be, to, they're going to be organizing a health fair. And that most probably that's going to be in Chang because we have most of our IDPs in Chang, and that would ensure that you know the screening, um, they would uh, provide some uh, some supplies, uh, something like blood pressure uh, curves, machines, um, blood sugar, you know, uh, monitors, and you know, as I said, diagnosis. But also, we are hoping to also provide uh, some medication uh, for basic ailments, uh, so that 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 those diagnoses are very very that the screening is very important, and this is going to be done by our local professionals in Cameroon. So that's the first project. The second project is our life, our sorry, our uh, um, health insurance initiative, uh, which Dr. Emon and the Health and Wellness Committee are working on. And the idea is that with 4,000 francs, you can subscribe and register uh, uh, into that health insurance plan run by the Archdiocese of uh, Bafusam. Um, you will get preventive care services, you get basic screening. And in this case, that is important because what we found out with our people is they lack these basic services and a lot of times people have very simple ailments they are not able to go to the hospital and then it becomes a big problem and then they go to the hospital it's more costly it's more uh, uh, severe and has more drastic consequences to them so with four thousand francs uh we will register someone can register into this insurance plan and get these basic services so we really really encourage village associations especially those in the diaspora and we encourage family members we encourage people who are doing a little bit better that god has really blessed them to be able to we'll be reaching out we'll be reaching out to our people for donations because in addition to village associations and those who are here and can afford can help their family members we also have a lot of idps who do not have family members in Kamaru who cannot afford this so maybe you know somebody just donating make a donation of ten dollars twenty dollars can cover two three persons for this for this program and then the third program it would be the community health um, uh, centers that the health committee really wants to beef up and the idea is to work with to at least be able to set up five community health centers yeah this is this is going to be in in the village in Fontaine. Uh, there's a challenge to that but we're just hoping that we should be able we would be able to overcome these challenges and put these community centers which uh the health committee is calling it the first first aid box which should just be providing the basic uh, uh medications um to some of our target communities where you still have a reasonable population so that you know people can take care of uh issues you know challenges that come up while they are able to transport that person to the to the hospital, so these are the three key uh, uh, projects that the Health and Wellness Committee will be doing for Cameroon. And as you know, lastly, uh, we can talk about our health insurance, uh, our life insurance here in the United States, which is kind of part of health, you know, because we think that if our people end of life decisions are very very challenging, uh, so if you have peace of mind by having this health insurance the life insurance sorry then i think it will keep people uh it will help people to have some peace of mind 
Yes, uh, yes, uh, thank you so much for that wonderful explanation to our people. I know definitely, yeah, we'll be bringing you back to Gaza Media to maybe as time go on to really begin to give details to some of these projects as they unfold. Uh, yeah, because of time now, I know Dr. Emijo has been waiting, but uh, before I will get to Dr. Emijo, we would like to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we will be focusing on the discussion okay of uh, the head talk, the bank head talk, which will start with the discussion of diabetes. Please stay tuned. When we come back, uh, we'll continue with that conversation. Mm -hmm.